Hi, in this video, you will learn the main differences between a Power App Canvas app and a model driven app. This video will build on top of the last two videos, the Canvas app tutorial and the model driven app tutorial, on which we built the same car rental business app using the two different approaches. Let's get started. When selecting if you are going to build a Canvas app or a model-driven app, the first thing you need to consider is which is the data source that you will be using. Canvas apps can be built on pretty much any data source. That is, Microsoft data sources, such as Dataverse, and also SharePoint, Excel, Access, and SQL Server. And you can also use other vendors' data sources, such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, among many others. There are more than 1,000 connectors to choose. On the other hand, model-driven apps accept only one data source, that is Microsoft Dataverse. You cannot use any of the others. So if you already know that the data source will be any other data source besides Dataverse, then you have your answer already. Go with Canvas app. Now, if you decide to use Dataverse as your data source, then you still have the two options to choose, as both Canvas apps and model-driven apps work with Microsoft Dataverse. So in that case that you will use Dataverse, which one should you choose, Canvas app or model-driven app? For that, let's take a look on the next criteria. The second main difference between a Canvas app in a model-driven app is the user interface design. In a Canvas app, you have total flexibility to build the user interface as you like. You can place a button anywhere in the screen. You can place a field anywhere in the screen. You can add images. You can change your font size. You can add background color, background image, color to buttons, make one control bigger than the other. You have complete flexibility on the design. This is what is called pixel-perfect design. So you can be very creative on how your application will look like. Let's take a look on some of the apps that I showed you on previous videos. This is the car rental app we created in the Canvas app tutorial. It has these big buttons, these colors, and all that. And this is the UI for the budget tracker application. You see, they are very different one from the other. This is the UI for the Customer Success app, also very different. And this is the UI for the My Expenses app. Each one have their own specific design. Now let's take a look on the user interface design for model-driven apps. Contrary to Canvas app, in model-driven apps, you don't have much flexibility. Every model-driven app will look pretty much like this one. This user interface is built automatically and always will follow this standard. You don't have the option to add a big button with a different color if you want, or make one field bigger than the other, add a text or image on a specific place. None of that. It is like it is. The design is fixed. Every model-driven app will look pretty much the same. Let's take a look at these examples. This is the version of the car rental app that we created in the model-driven app tutorial. This is how it looks like. Now let's take a look at this other app, the Innovation Challenge app, that we saw on another video also. Pretty much the same design, looks very similar. And this is the UI for the fundraiser application, another application that we saw in previous videos. Again, very similar. I mean, you can change the fields that will be in the app, select the number of columns, but not much more than that. Model-driven apps have a disadvantage on design, but they have a big advantage in development speed, which is this next criteria. Power apps is a low-code development platform. Either if you choose a Canvas app or a model-driven app, 
it will be way faster to create an application than developing the application with any of the high code traditional programming languages. So in that sense, you are good with either one. But among the two, which is faster to develop? And on this criteria, mother-driven apps win. I mean, once you have the database tables created, you pretty much just have to click a button and the whole application is going to be created for you. Sure, you can customize it a little bit by moving adder and removing fields, but that is very fast to do. Another advantage of model-driven apps is that it comes with several built-in features. If you take a close look, you will notice that all of the model-driven apps come with this set of options here at the top. You can have charts, a Power BI dashboard, and this button here, which allows you to export the data to Excel. Sure, you can build these things also on a Canvas app, but it will require some time, some development effort, while here it is already available for you out of the box. Power Apps allows you to develop applications that are responsive. Being responsive basically means that you can use the app on any device, computer browser, tablet, or phone. And in that sense, model-driven apps have an advantage. This responsiveness comes already built in. As soon as you complete this implementation of your app, it will be already responsive to all type of devices. Let's take a look here at the Fundraiser app. On the other hand, in Canvas app, responsiveness doesn't come built in. In case you need your Canvas app to be responsive to different devices, you will need to implement that. If you don't, your application might not display correctly on some of them. Having the possibility to completely customize a Canvas app is a great thing, but it comes with its own challenges. Because Canvas apps are completely customizable, it is also more prone for development bugs to occur. I mean, you can do anything on Canvas apps, so that might end up generating bugs that will require effort to be fixed. It will also require more testing to make sure everything works properly. Model-driven apps, on the other hand, is much less probable to generate errors, since you cannot customize it too much. It is already widely tested the way it is. Licensing is an important criteria to analyze when deciding between a Canvas app and a model-driven app. And there is an important difference between the two here. Canvas app is available both on Power Apps standard and premium licenses. Model-driven apps, on the other hand, is available only on the premium license. So you will need a premium license to be able to create your application. And not only you as the developer will need a premium license, but your users will also need a Power Apps premium license to be able to use your application. So who wins on each criteria? On data source, Canvas Apps wins, as it allows both Dataverse and others data sources to be used, while model-driven apps allow Dataverse only. On UI customization, Canvas Apps win again, as it allows much more customization than model-driven apps. On development speed, this time model-driven apps win. Both are fast, very fast ways of developing applications comparing to traditional programming languages. But comparing the two, model-driven apps are even faster. In terms of built-in features, model-driven apps win again, as it has many, such as the export to Excel, among others. Then on responsiveness, Model-driven apps wins again, as it comes built in, it will work on any type of device, computer browser, tablet, and phone, while on Canvas apps, that needs to be implemented. And on quality, model-driven apps have an advantage 
as it is a lot less prone to errors. Canvas app, since it allows more customization, it requires more attention so that you don't insert bugs on the application. On licensing, Canvas apps wins, as Canvas apps work both on the standard and premium licenses, while modded driven apps work on premium only. And you will need to have a premium license both for the developer and for the users.